Well, I am so excited to have with me today from the AIM Institute, Tony Veland. He is Director of Community Engagement and Maria Brady, Membership Development and Retention Coordinator. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you, Thank for, having you for having us. So we're, we're in an ever-changing world right now, and I know the AIM Institute, as, as so many nonprofits, is no different with looking at um, what's going on, how, how things are going in, in your, you know, your organization. So let's just talk first about how does the nonprofit AIM Institute growth um, in the Omaha area tech sector? Foster growth, sorry, how do you foster growth? Yeah, of course. So the AIM Institute takes a holistic approach to identifying the needs within our community, along with something that we call the tech talent continuum. This is comprised of middle school age children all the way to mid-level career professionals who are interested in learning more about technology. So we focus on providing the opportunity to teach the hard skills involved with tech, but also the soft skills that are critical for building confidence, teaching collaboration, and then also developing the future leaders of tech within our own community. So we are able to take an individual approach to each individual, whether new to tech or already experienced, and we get them connected with career navigators, mentors, and the resources that we are able to provide to help find them a career in tech within our own community. Yeah, I mean, and that is so important. That's just so important um, in today's world of technology and, and being able to reach um, just that younger population and everything you do in between is mm -hmm. really important. So I want to talk a little bit about diversity and inclusion in the tech field. And Tony, um, why don't you take it away on that question? Well, we, we focus on groups of individuals who historically have lacked access to this field. Um, the diversity numbers for the tech industry are rather low, um, covering in the six to 8% area for Hispanic and African-American representation. Uh, we aim to increase those numbers for two reasons. The first being opportunity. If you look at the industry itself, it's poised to grow by 24% over the next five years, which means more positions will be available. And furthermore, this ends up being what we call the million dollar decision. You know, individuals who are actually starting out in the tech field can earn up to 30,000 more than any other field out there. So when you spread that over, you know, a, a, an individual 30 year career or 40 year career, you know, that's more than a million dollars. That's that's real money, you know. And so the second reason is because it makes business sense. Now, numerous studies have been done that talks about the more diverse workforce that you have, the better they ideate, the more productive that they are and the more profit that is earned in the end. So no longer is it just a moral or an, an ethical decision to increase diversity. Now it's a fiscal one. So we want to do whatever we can to continue to push things in the right direction. Yeah, and again, so important. And that's amazing. I mean, when you say look at that over 30 to 40 years, what that means financially to an individual or to their family and, and whatnot, that's, that's, that's big stuff. So just really important. Um, let's talk about having a strong tech community and why that's important to Omaha. Well, it, one of the biggest reasons that's important is because it's really a prerequisite for growth of our local economy. Um, when you think about the shortage of skilled workers that we have here, unfortunately, there's a negative impact to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars that our economy doesn't even get a chance to experience. So that's the money that could be affecting our tax base to help with the roads or to renovate you know, rundown areas. It's, it's more money that could be in people's pockets to uplift families and to also build business. So it's very important that we continue to do our part to help provide for that need because it helps strengthen the overall community and the business community simultaneously. So it really begs to, um, it really shows how important the impact that we're actually having in the, in the overall local economy here in Omaha. And then kind of the next question off of that is how can we support, um, because that's important. So as all organizations, all nonprofits, you rely on um, 
support from the community, um, the fundraising aspect. And, you know, with everything going on right now with COVID-19 and, and I think it's even more important and people who are passionate about, about your mission, um, you know, how can people help you? What, what is the support um, that the community can give you in, in helping with the mission and building Omaha, the tech talent community? That's an excellent question, thank you. To support our mission, we at AIM would really love to get connected with other tech professionals here in Omaha, whether that is because they have interest in volunteering with some of our youth and tech programming, which we still have operating currently, even in the course of the pandemic. But we'd also like to get connected with these tech professionals to get them involved with our tech events and conferences. The other aspect too is of course to follow us on social media and to check out our website at theaiminstitute.org. We always have a lot going on. 2020 hasn't stopped any of our progress and we've actually expanded a number of our programs. The other aspect too is if you are able, we would really appreciate any donation that's possible. Being a nonprofit, we really survive on the support from our local community and we'd really appreciate a donation towards continuing our youth and tech programming along with a scholarship fund that we have for our accredited code school. Um, very important. And I know people can find out a lot of that information on your website mm -hmm. um, to make donations and, and all kinds of information, which is aiminstitute.org. Uh, I really wanna, I wanna just dive in in the last few minutes about the work that you're doing with elementary, middle, and high school students, which being able to start at that age, that just sets people up for success. So take it yeah, away. I, yeah, you know, I, I, I agree. It's, it's, it's really one of the reasons why I decided to um, jump on board with AIM because of, of what we do uh, to provide for kids who are underrepresented in our community. Uh, we provide free tech education experiences to kids age seven to 17 to stimulate interest into the areas of STEAM. You know, the goal is to push them towards an industry that abounds with opportunity from a career perspective, but also to direct them down a path that can really change the trajectory of their lives. You know, kids get a chance to learn about 3D gaming, 3D printing, um, coding, drone tech, you know, et cetera. And the consistent exposure towards these types of experiences will really help to remove any limiting beliefs that a lot of these kids place on themselves early on. And so when you think about a kid's chance of truly being successful long term, unless they, you know, that uh, limiting belief is removed, it's really hard for them to really experience that. So, so we're re really proud of the work that we do. We, we understand that uh, a number of the kids that we work with don't come from our ideal backgrounds and situations. Um, and so any help that we can provide them to be more successful and to, and to expose them to a field that um, that can really change their lives is, is really something that we're proud of. And, and, and we're happy that we do that. But we want to do it in a bigger way. So even with some of the things that are that Maria was talking about, uh, being able to you know, have individuals get involved from a mentoring standpoint, a volunteering standpoint or a donation standpoint will really help us to be able to further our cause. Yeah, I mean, again, I just, I mean, thank you both and thank you for AIM, I mean, for doing all you do in the community because um, technology, like you said, Tony, is, I mean, that's something that the future of technology, I mean, that's just where we are, where it's going. It's going to be constantly changing mm -hmm. and it's not going away. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not going anywhere. And, that's, and let's be honest, you know, everybody already uses technology. They already right, use it. Right. And our, our, our biggest goal is to change the mindset from just being a consumer to learning how to be a creator, how to create your own yeah. path, how to be exactly. successful long term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And asking, you know, I, you know, just, yeah, that qu my favorite question now is what else is possible? What else is possible? And when you ask that question, it just opens up so much space yeah. in mm -hmm. the world to to really create whatever you want to create. And well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing that kind of sticks out to me right now is if you've paid attention to what's going on with the Davis Global Center and you know what's happening with I, IXL and, and UNMC, you know, we have a state-of-the-art facility that is cutting-edge technology 
that is the best on the planet. And that's yeah. here in Omaha. And that is, that is amazing. You know, for somebody who's from Omaha, that's amazing. So yeah. to see those types of advances that are happening, we're just hoping that it's going to touch other areas. And we yeah. want to be able to expose our kids to things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, what a great conversation. Um, Rhea, Tony, thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to coming back, you know, maybe early next year and having another conversation and kind of just seeing, you know, where are we at now and, and, and what's, what's happening. So again, thank you both so much for being here with me today. Thank you. And we look forward to it. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Andy. You're welcome. And we will be right back.